Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty, back here with another video, and in this video today, we are going to be reacting to DBG ranking the best point guards in NBA 2K22, my team. Now, I did my point guard tier list a little over a week ago, so we're just going to see how his tier list kind of resembles mine, right? Are they comparative, or do we have a lot of different opinions on card? I'm going to listen to DBG's opinion, hear him out, but also give my opinion on each and every one of these cards. Now, before we dive any further, massive shout out to DBG for making this tier list. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. We're on a point guard this year anyway. So, so let's see what we got. D Brown. D Brown. D Brown's Evo, I don't rate him. I'm gonna put him in C. Like, I don't think he's a good player at all. I don't have like, his D jumper's Brown. all right. I don't know if I've ever played his D Brown. All right. He just feels slow. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. He's like, not a card I've ever like good. seen. His badges are good. His stats I, are good. I've but, never like, used some them. cards. They have the stats. They have the badges. They just don't feel as good. And I think we've gotten a little bit um. Ever since we've started like looking up animations and we've got the database, we are purely judging cards based on how good they look in game. We you would normally have a general idea, but sometimes cards just feel good, just like the Hito Turkaloo in 2K19. DBG has a point, right? Some cards um, just sometimes cards feel, just feel good. good. They right. move well. They and he just uh, feels and, so and he has a clunky. point. Like he, he genuinely just feels like he's got like, minus. Spencer Dinwiddie feels good. And speaking of Spencer Dinwiddie, he better be on this list, man. I'm excited to get to him. Monte Morris. D or E. Monte is e. not unusable though. Because so of this trade bird base. We he's not I'm gonna put him E tier. His release is fine. Very like, good. Release. Base. Very good release. He's basically the same shooting wise as um Devontae Graham. And he's not even that different shooting wise to say Alan Iverson. With that Burke base, which is really, really good. Now, the really Burke base he's is just pretty small. Smooth. I can't wait Isn't for the greatest shooter in the world. Monte is solid. I mean, if you got him in domination for a time, he probably did okay. And also not the I mean, he's not a useless defender. He's not a very good defender either. Good defender. So, yeah, Mars. Slick is Watts can defend, though. Here. Like, he was decent start of the year. Like, when you completed that, like, when people were completing down, right, he one, was fine. Like, he was a decent enough player to get. He, he really was. was. But it's just, he's not weak anymore. Slick Watts. He Slick can Watts defend, is going to be tier purely because of his release. Slick Watts is good at everything except his release. Talk about a guy that his can defend, though. Is useless. He can defend, man. Like, it is one of the worst releases in the game. It I'm is, not exactly sure what his uh, speed or lateral Oakley quickness base. is, but it's pretty good. He's he's Dennis Schroeder, by the way. He's a Dennis Schroeder clone. Uh, when Oakley you're in the subs menu, a picture good. of Dennis Schroeder comes up instead of Slick Watts. <laughs> like, he is literally a Dennis Schroeder clone. So, for those wondering, like, what's a good comparison? Why they got he the is, same like, release, imagine Dennis Schroeder, but way better on defense. Slick's like, imagine they gave Dennis Schroeder, like, 90 defensive stats. That's what you're getting with Slick Watts. I don't know how tall he is, but again, so, defensively, like his defense he's going he's to do some things. He's insanely good. Like his on-ball defense, he's just a little bit small. But his offense is poor. Aaron Brooks. I'm going to put Aaron Brooks in D tier. I don't know if I've ever used Purely Aaron because Brooks. he's an emerald. He's a free card, though. So there are him? some weeks. He, Aaron Brooks is fast. He shoots. He's got quite a few goal badges. I do not think I've ever used the cards. He I is like deceptively good. Got some good, good guys coming up like AI, Kuzi. And he can also be used in a lot of weeks and limited. Got some guys that can do some things. So we'll see. Like, there are going to be times where Emerald... Like, I'm sorry, though. Why would anybody use Aaron Brooks outside of and Limited? And he's perfect for that. Limited, okay, I get it. So, for me, Outside Aaron of Brooks, that, I would not ever use him. There's be a little bit higher than Monte Mars, even though... Mars might be the better player, like, in a vacuum. But Is at the same gonna... time, like... Card, like, different cards have uses of different Is he going to put AI in A tier Because of the fact S? he's an Emerald tier. And he's a really... He's probably the best Emerald tier point guard. Where's AI there's going? A, there's definitely... There are reasons this year where Aaron Brooks is probably going to be a brilliant card. Do not use reason. Aaron Brooks. Because obviously I don't you can't care. really be that successful with him in Unlimited. Um, I'm going to put him into I would never tier, use but, Aaron Brooks. Ever. I mean, Even in Limited, one of the best I'd never use him. So then we've got Alan Iverson. Where's he going to put Iverson's AI? Iverson's going A. Okay. So Iverson, That's where I'd have Iverson. So Iverson would be A, Slick Watts, A or B. I like that. Put him in S tier because he's six like foot that. tall. Small players get abused. But he moves kind of well. He is a cheese ball offensively. He not only moves kind of well, he shoots the ball really well, and he kind of dunks it. Like if you're asking me, who I would rather good. take like CP3 or Iverson? It's a close one, but I think I might take Iverson. Defensively, CP3. Yeah, guys Iverson is a though. super so super player. Like there's no real like he's small. Like that is his flaw. That is literally the only flaw in Allen Iverson. Defensively, he leaves a little bit to be desired. Too. Quite undersized. He's not great not go, defensively. He's all, I mean, he's stat wise, like, he's not that bad. He's got everything that you need from a point guard. So, yeah. 
Um, if you're a cheese ball, you're gonna like. Hey, I, I, I don't AJ. like him because I'm not. And a And we're gonna ball. go Byron Davis. Be and Byron Davis is going D tier. Byron Davis is not terrible. He's definitely I'm not terrible. You, Byron no. Davis is not bad at all. Like he is one of those guys that like are. Super when we get in Baron further on in the year, he's gonna be good. Be good. But this Baron because is he's just, like Dame. He's okay. Except one of the things is I don't think he's got Dame behind the back, and that was like a huge thing. But he's like Dame's Dame behind the Ruben back got patched though. Whereas now Dame is looking really, for the really good on the back. And struggles on defense. Byron Davis is a way better defender than Dame. So now I'm gonna, gonna put Byron Davis in C tier. Ooh, C tier. I wonder where he's gonna put Rudy Gay. I think Dame at this then. stage in the game, he's. I uh, do not know about him being C tier. He's definitely, though. definitely still usable. I don't know. And you can use him if you get him in drop. Hey, anytime I come up with Baron Davis, he barbecue I'm chicken, you, man. Like nobody's worried about Bear Davis. Really, really good point guard. My feet are getting get kicked up anytime I use him. But yeah, so come up against him. Come on, Byron Davis not here. Kuzi, hey, Kuzi's good. He can. He do might it get all. moved. To where? His release is kind of slow, but it's very it greenable. It's That's the only downside to Kuzi is his release is kind of slow. Everything else is good. But he's, he's got like short too. But it's weird when like he doesn't get the pickpocket the CP3 has, but what he does get is a ultra long wingspan. So defensively, he does. I think I'm going to take him over CP3. Kuzi's good to, he's a good defender. I think I'm going to take Kuzi over CP3. Def is good. But Kuzi's I think movement is really nice. In a Kuzi vacuum, though, CP3 is better. So um, we're going to have know, him. I'm going to put him in A tier. Like, I got Bob Kuzi. I was just never the hey, biggest Kuzi fan. Kuzi versus Iverson again. Okay. That's a preference matchup. I know most people probably prefer Iverson, but it's preference. Calvin Murphy, the, he the worst amethyst in the game. He can't do anything on the court. I like... It's not even a debate. The guy sucks. He the does. Guy absolutely Calvin Murphy is like five foot two. Absolutely. It does nothing sucks. on the court. So um. Yeah. Anyway. Diamond CP A tier. Is... I wonder who is going to be his S tier point guards. Yep. For him, he's just bad. Chris Pauls. Both Chris Pauls are out to put in the same tier. A? Like Chris Pauls versus Kuzi's preference. I might move them all down. But the two Chris Paul cards are the exact same. The only difference is one of them gets Hall of Fame mismatch expert. Which, with his release, doesn't really matter like, too much. That is basically the only Like difference. I said in my videos, guys, if, if you wanted the chance to use Diamond CPU, th CP3, just use difference the Amethyst. They're the same card. CP3 Amethyst and CP3 Diamond. Is Hall of Fame mismatch expert good? Yes. Is Hall of Fame mis mismatch expert as good as it was the start of the year? No. They eh. nerfed mismatch expert. Until I just think CP3 is released. Kobe White. Now, Kobe White Ooh, can I move. I can't see nothing. We got I'm a lot of Kobe cards, White my goodness. Kobe White is like... I don't know if I've ever used if Kobe. If you guys have ever used Jamal Murray's Diamond, that's basically it. I don't like Jamal, he's Jamal Murray Murray's that much, diamond, but he's he has a shorter a wingspan. He's an inch taller. His stats and badges aren't quite as good, but they're very similar. So for me, Kobe I think White that is... Kobe White at 6'5 is decent, but he's not Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie better be at least A tier. He's, or they're easily A slash high B. Um, or say, no, not easy A slash B. He's easily like um, C slash low B. And I, say, I don't think Kobe White's A tier. I know a lot of people say, oh, Jamal's way better. I'm just like, if you look at the stats and badges, it is one million Jamal percent. Jamal is, I mean, Jamal is really not like I don't that. like Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony fried the Timberwolves last night, but that's besides. I don't think there's any use for Cole Anthony. Some people do like him. But like for me, if you're asking me Cole Anthony versus Monte Morris, like, I don't know. The crazy part about I Cole can't Anthony. I can Paul Pierce base. Is that I didn't even it, know he was quick. in the game. Right. It is the least consistent release I've ever used. Nobody's it either using feels like the It either feels too slow to get a shot off, or it's the fastest release in the game. Every shot you take with him feels different. Maybe it's a bit... I think on current gen, he's probably better. Because the Paul Pierce release is not as... I know he Paul Pierce release is so much better on current matter for point guard. So Paul much Pierce better on current. Paul Pierce is not as broken on current gen as it is on next gen. Next I'm gen is disgusting. You, it is borderline usable for me. This Dame Lillard, E. I don't even know. He's still at Dame base and stuff, like. but like, when you've got the Ruby Dame that's like a hundred times better than him, I mean, I don't think he. I'm gonna be like intrigued to see where he here. puts Ruby Dame. Like he's not Calvin Murphy bad, and I think putting Calvin Murphy on this list, um, was a bad set of bad precedent because there is no card here that's yeah, even Calvin Murphy, to me. Murphy, Calvin Murphy is terrible. And we have this Dame here. I'm gonna put this Dame in B. Offensively, okay. he can still compete with the best of them. Oh, he yeah. really can. Offensively, that shocking. Dame cooks. And like, and I don't defense even mean like, oh, really he can bad. be abused. Like, he is terrible on defense. Like, Iverson can be abused. Iverson statistically is not that bad uh, in the pick and roll. Like, that's how. Like, Iverson can be abused. The difference is like, Iverson's pretty decent. Like, on ball, 
Right. Iverson That's can guard somebody. Dame can't. Dame's not like, guarding a tree. You are going to score on Dame pretty much every time. It's the reason why people just in general But Dame's offense using. is incredible. But I know there are still some good players that use Dame and like Dame. And if you're one of them, keep going. Because offensively, the dude is spectacular. He definitely is. He is He's absolutely spectacular. So, he can more than compete in the offensive end with almost anybody. But he's so bad in defense that I can't put him. Like, I can't put him on CP3 level. Collison's Collison going with Aaron Brooks. Look, I have man. used Collison so many times in um, domination. Collison's very mid. I used him because DBG gassed him up, and he is very, very, very mid. He's like, he is still the second best Emerald point guard. He's on, so like, mid, the though. Third best now, Emerald or Sapphire point guard. He can kind of move. Monte Morris is better than Collison. I don't care. Decent. I don't care. Monte Morris is better than Collison. A little bit undersized, but like so is Brooks. So for me, y'all don't have I to agree with me, but I'm telling y'all, Monte is a fair spot to put him for me. Collison. I'm telling y'all. Like I know a lot of people probably have him in a in a lower tier than this, but again, like we're not just looking about which cards are going to be best playing competitively. Because if that was the tier, like if we were making that, like, tier, I'm sorry, but like even in limited, how many times is Darren Collison really going to be you? I would mean, not see. You would not what, see what, half what of the cards. What are we even talking Dave about? Dave Bing. Dave Bing. Oh, but Dave Bing and B tier. He is better than I thought, but like he's not as good as Chris Paul. That release that he has is. Like, that's unusable. the one thing I'm gonna say. I don't like, care I'll be what like, anybody says. Oh yeah, says. he's actually really good. I'm like he is actually decent, but like it, I was looking at, it, I was like he's very comparable to Slick Watts. He is really, really comparable. Like, to why Slick would Watts. anybody use Dave? Like, that is the best I, way. I to, like, you know. can't use him on ball. Or say not on ball. You can't use him as your primary ball handler, because the guy legitimately. Cannot, you and can't I repeat, shoot with him. cannot uh, play any sort of offense with the ball in his hands. So for me, I'm just like... Just don't know about Dave being, man. Well, especially if you went and locked in the exchange for the guy. That's Locking disgusting. in for the exchange for a... That is literally like disgusting. way worse Wall Frazier, or way worse Drew Holiday. And that's the way you have to... Uh, and I remember when Dave being got released, there was people that were excited about it. I'm like, y'all gotta see his release, yeah, man. That is disgusting. And we got De'Aaron... The Aaron's gonna go B tier. I don't nah. think he's quite as gonna see B tier. B tier is B tier like, oh, is the right it's spot. It's literally Paul George base. I don't like Some Paul George. Some people are saying they look Paul George base. Say they hate the Aaron Fox base. It's literally just maybe it's because it's on a point guard DBG. Him and John Moran, maybe it's such a good release. Well, John Moran, I don't like well. it on John either. So fluidly in game, his player model is really skinny. So he kind of moves. He's kind of crafty. He gets in and in a lot of gaps. He dunks the ball well, shoots it well. Like he's not he's not the be all and end all player um, of this game, but I do like him. DeJounte. Fox is solid. I think DeJounte's top five. Oh, my goodness. I think he might get moved down, but DeJounte is by far the best player we have on this list right now. We are in for a long DeJounte video, boys and so girls. Good. Like, DeJounte I is good. Realize how good DeJounte. I do think DeJounte is the best player on this list. I want to clarify that. I DeJounte do believe Murray that. Is in this game. My goodness, DBG. I don't think people realize how good he is. Let's settle down. Because. Let's just calm down. He's not he, even the best amethyst point guard in the game, so let's um, just calm down. He's still relatively cheap. So he's an S tier. Like, no Yeesh. question about, absolutely no question about it. Like he defends, he's like a poor man's Gary Payton. That's the best way. To I'm yawning because I've what I'm here. A poor man's Gary, not even close. Yeah, guy is a poor man's Payton. Poor man's what maybe? And you can't knock a card like that. He's not even close you to being Gary knock a Payton. card like that in this game. What are we even talking about here? Because even? GP is like the best point guard in the game, bar none. Yeah, but you got, I mean, you can't compare no DeJounte that, to like, him. Gary Payton is the best point guard in the game. DeJounte's so, not him, I'm sorry. You've got to at least um, put this guy up near there. He's like, he's better than Walt. No, uh, okay. Let's just do some quick research, okay? Let, 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 let's just see, right? Let's just see, because BBG thinks he's better than everyone else. So, like, 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 let's just see what Frazier, and then we've got our man, DeJounte Murray. You guys be the judge. I do not think he's better than Walt Frazier. I just don't. I have a hard time seeing it anywhere. Yes, post moves, I mean, are, are pretty, I mean, not valuable. But look at everything else. Like, I do not think he's better than Walt. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see it, DBG. He is better than Walt Frazier. I do not see that at all. Schroeder. 
They both have decent. terrible releases. Shooter sucks. Shooter is not good. Shooter absolutely sucks. He definitely is not good. Like, I know a lot of people good. are like definitely high on Dennis Shooter, but he is a garbage man. Why would you use he Dennis? He is like a man just like what? But they didn't give him basically the best defensive stats in the game. Man, that release is just That's terrible. That's essentially what you are getting for uh, for him. If he had a better release, maybe, but that release is terrible. All right, come so, on. Let's DMG, go on a good roll here, DBG. Terrible. Why would you ever use him? DSJ. A. Dennis Smith Jr. I cannot put Dennis Smith Jr. in S tier. I just. What are we even talking about right now? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Am I missing something? Slash your dribble. Am I missing something? Just can't. Like, there's no. Am I missing, guys? Am I there's missing no reason something? That, where I can put. There's no like. There's no reason you can put him in A tier. Putting him in S tier. But like, I think I might because not only he is the best, he should be on your team for the rest of the year as an end of the bench guy. No, he shouldn't. No question about that. He's a 79 overall. Why would you put him there when you could put 73 over? He should overall? be on your team at, for the rest of the year. This is this is already blasphemy. He's a goal player that can be used and be effective. There but are not many not rounds. good. But he, I, I get that, but he's rounds. not good. So what are we talking about? So I can't like. No way. This is all. No way is um. Is he going any lower than this? Because he is he will play the most in my collection. He is the best TT offline player in the game. Okay. Out is this a triple threat offline tier list? I mean, then I I, I don't know where I don't know what to tell you. Dave is better than DeJounte. Outside like, of if you are a three hunter. What are we talking like about? If you are a three hunter, he's got slash and pretty style. Good. Um you're custom my player if you made him a point guard. He's pretty good. But other than that, DSJ is Unbelievable. He's going to go A tier because I still, the odd time, put him on. He sees the floor sometimes unlimited. If my two point guards are low on stamina, he will see the floor and this he will do crazy. fine. This DSJ is, crazy. is going A tier. That's terrible. Is he, in a competitive setting, is he better than anyone in B tier? Probably not. Not but even again, close. This is not, we all don't play this game competitively. He is usable in pretty much every week of, unli of limited. He is the second. I'm about to fall asleep. Best point guard, Sapphire and lower after Jalen Suggs. Why is. So yeah, this Why is, is he Darren Williams A. Okay, Darren, Darren Williams really, really good. good job, DBG. His um, it's his a good one right there. Is good. His it's a good one right there, DB. I like that one. The shooting's pretty. I good. don't even love Darren like, Williams, but he's A tier. There's nothing really bad with this card. So for me, he's gonna go into A tier. Where you put um, D Rose? Derrick Rose. Be careful. Now this is a controversial one. I'm going Derrick Rose S and, and A. A. Good. This Derrick Rose is the most underrated player in the game. He is, the but he's not the only difference diamond. between these guys is one of them has a plus four three pointer, That's and a one of them good has half quick first step versus go quick first step. That's a good difference. As well. They are basically the same, and Derrick Rose still has the Derrick Rose left right. He still got some like ridiculously ridiculously good animations. And I get and I can it. See why but... people start to really like Derrick Rose because I'm using the Ruby one of my squad, and he's more than holding. Yeah, his the own. Ruby Derrick Rose. The is guy good. is more than holding his own lots. His Definitely defense good. is horrific. But at the same time, you might be saying, oh, the Rubies can't play any defense. It was like, he's at the exact same defense and lateral quickness. Which yeah, the, the, same, exact the same diamond Derrick Rose doesn't play too much defense. terrible defense as the Ruby and the diamond. They the diamond's are not going to so, play much defense. Like, they are two of the most... CP3 are more similar. Actually, CP3, are, they're the same card. You will not know the difference. But Derrick Rose, I mean, it's they're kind of hard similar. to know the difference. The quick the first step is the only card, thing. Like, quick first step's the same. Like they're thing. so similar, Derrick Rose, diamond, and Ruby. All right, come on. Let's go on a little roll here. At this stage of the game, the guy's E. I need That's to find fine. other guys in, in F tier, or in Worthless. Mo Williams, Muggsy. Muggsy and Mo Williams. Trying something. to look for other people. Whatever, actually, you know what? Whatever about Muggsy. Muggsy's better than Mo Williams. Stop it. Just stop it. Get some help, DBG. I'm just putting stop it out there. It. That's terrible. Obviously not in a competitive setting. If you're looking to go into an unlimited game, obviously not. But I mean, like, Muggsy's... I had Muggsy in draft, and he was pretty good. Like, he can shoot. He's got I come up against Muggsy Bogues. Where is my blindfold? That dude is five foot zero. What, are we, what are we talking about? And he's kind of small players are kind of shifty in this game. Small players move. I well. come up against Muggsy Bogues. So for Jeez. me, Muggsy's 
not the worst player. He is the worst player. He's not player. the worst player here. Yes, he is. Like, Muggsy's so much better than Calvin Murphy. No, he's not. He's probably like, I get zero. it, he's only 5'3", and I get it, you can't use him in a competitive setting, but I also know that you can't use most of these guys competitively. Mo Williams, so, that could be yeah. out there, and he could, um, he could he could see the court for me. Mo Williams deserves at least E. Mo I Williams think. stinks. He's not that bad. Mo Williams has got probably the worst release in the game. That's the only problem with him. Like, I tried to use Mo Williams. I got him in my draft. In fairness, I got three point guards from my pick, two of them being Kyrie Irving, who I suck with. And um, I got probably the worst draft ever for me. Two Kyries would be tough. That would I be really tough. I got no good bigs. And I have six point guards in my squad <laughs> and six decent point guards. But yet I've got... Um, is anybody playing the draft mode because of George Gervin? I'm, I'm just throwing nobody that to play. I, I don't nobody play good it, to play so I don't, I don't any know. other position except point guard. But I got six point guards. And I don't know if anybody's Mo playing Williams the draft is one of them. Anymore. 2K set him as my starting point guard. He's useless. He's not that bad. Like, I remember playing uh, with him when he came out in a nominee spend episode. And I was literally like, this guy is trash. He's not guy's as absolutely awful. He's not good, he but he's not as bad well. as DJ. He, really, he doesn't really feel like he's fast, even though his stats say he should be fast. Like he's he better than really Calvin Murphy. Even Muzzy. though his rating is high, he has the worst release in the game. Okay. He's just slandering Mo Williams. Worthless here. I mean, I would be tempted to put Rondo in there because I think Rondo sucks. Stop! Sucks. Stop! Stop! But he's not He's not Stop. bad enough to be worthless. Rondo is good in this game. He's not good. Stop. He is good. Don't get me wrong. Rajon Rondo is Rondo not a good player. Rondo is good. Stop it. But at the same time, he's a... Uh, Rondo is so good. He's a top three point guard defensive player in the entire game. He's nowhere near as bad as these guys. We've gotten worthless. Stop it. Get some help. So, yeah. Um, gonna, I'm, I already know I'm going to get upset here. I need to go brace myself. I need to get some Freddy rest Brown. before I get... I'm going to put downtown Freddie Brown. Freddie's good. Here. If you fully bad I know Joe Gracie Freddy, did good. beat Ty with him he in did. 250. He doesn't did. mean he's a good card. He's better than Kyrie. Fred is good, though. Current gen. I want to say, Fred's good. I'm probably better than... He's better than Kyrie. I'm just going to put it that way. He's better than Kyrie. Kyrie... He's certainly better than Dennis Smith Jr. Moves that a little bit better. But, like, for me, anyway, I think for most people, I've struggled with downtown Freddie Brown more than I've struggled with Kyrie. And he's a lot harder to abuse than Kyrie Irving. I don't know why. He is. Because they have the Fred same Brown height is, and wingspan. Is... I think it's just player builds. Fred Brown, Kyrie Irving's the, player build is Fred Brown so defensive bad defense. stats are so And much also, better. I think he's a higher than 69 lateral quickness. Yeah, Fred's a good kind defender. Of bad thing for Kyrie Irving. But, um... It's not even close. Fred's way better than Kyrie. Yeah. It's literally not And close. we have got... Fred. The only reason people don't get Fred Brown is because Serge is at the amp. He's Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet, A tier. A tier, no question about it. FVV is good. Um, He's good, man. He was one of my favorite budget point guards for a while. Like, he can shoot, he can move. He's less than 10K right now. Like, the he fact is, is, if you're looking at A tier, CP3, um, Derek Rose, Rose, and Freddie Van Vliet are all under 10K. Yep. We finally all, got some good budget point guards. Because for, like, the first I month, we had insa- nobody. All insanely, insanely We literally had no good budget point guards, but now we do. And again, like, you can maybe move. Like he's And he's one of the better ones. Like, he's better than D Rose for most people. He's better than, he's similar level to CP3. Like, that is a preference question. Who's better, Freddie? Fred release is much better though. That's so um, I can't wait yeah. for Giannis, man. He's Let's go be so and tough. put him there. So then we have got after Fred Van Vliet is Gary Payton, the best the point guard in the game. S-tier. The best. Guys, shit. Gary Payton is so He's good. He's, He's good. like imagine, um, imagine Dejounte but better at everything. Gary's good, man. That's not even close. Stop comparing Dejounte to these dudes. You're getting Dejounte, but Stop. better at literally everything. Stop comparing Dejounte. He shoots to Gary. better. That's Dejounte literally he plays so his defense, Like the closest thing Dejounte versus Payton is defense. I think defensively they're very similar. But he's just you are gassing better Dejounte, Dejounte. Murray badly. And to be honest, if I don't get Gary Payton this season, I'm just going to buy Dejounte starting se- for once Super Facts come out for season three. They're not even close. No question about that. Like Dejounte is or Dejounte should stay. Garrett man, Gary's worth. Gary is the most worth at unlimited rewards since Glenn. He is. And like, I get it. We did also have Rudy Gay. And as you go up the boards, like you get so rewarded for like the diamond and pink diamond. 2K20. Tiers, so but like he was like so a lock-in rewarded. reward for completing like four or five. Or what was it? Like there was, it was guess six of them unlocking for Rudy Gay. Um, so I'm not really counting him. But like Glenn, legitimately. Legitimately, he's the best since then. 
He is the best since Glenn Rice. Like, we got Will and Gary. Those two unlimited rewards have been pretty solid. Will's and that is a bold save. Was okay, no, actually, no. Paul Pierce was Gary's pretty good. so good. Paul Pierce was pretty good because he was, like, the best card in the game when he came out. And so was Peyton. He's the best since Paul Pierce. Arenas, B. And I know you might be... I'm fine with B just because his release Follow is me crazy. So I'm taking D-Rose over Gilbert Arenas. I don't like Gilbert. Gilbert doesn't move. I like Diamond Rose Gilbert's got base Gilbert dribble style. Sure. He is Splash's favorite player of all time. And Splash, during the 250k tournament, realized how bad Gilbert was and had to take him out of his team. Like, Splash is good, can be good with anybody. Even he wasn't good with Gilbert Arenas. It's just his release is so He is, is so terrible. Bad. So if he uses him as a secondary defense, boy, he's he not can't work. dribble because he's got base... Well, he can't move properly because he's got base dribble style. He's um not a great dunker. He can barely shoot because he has a release that's equally as inconsistent as Paul Pierce's base. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. Gilbert, it's not like you can't green off the catch him. It's just so inconsistent. Basically, it's so inconsistent. Isaiah Thomas S. Isaiah Thomas E is burning. Probably in my the, opinion, the top the three second point, best point guard in the game. I like him second best outside of Gary. I don't have him because the way He's I so use my though. point guards, he doesn't suit. He does not fit the way I play my point guards. He fits but how he I is play, better than the guys I run. He's, most definitely, definitely he's better than the dudes He's got that a solid him. release, good defender. So, he's solid um, all the way around. He's brilliant. Suggs. A. a tier for Jalen for Jalen Suggs. That's crazy. Am I? That's crazy to me. I have to move some of these A tier guys down. Jalen Suggs is who you need to move down. Suggs is as good as Rose. I'm gonna do this. You can't really use Suggs as a primary ball down handler, one. though. This Rose down one. This Rose down one. Okay. And if we're talking overall. Okay. Obviously, um, I'm now okay because he put Jalen. Obviously, Suggs in if we're B -tier. talking overall, I dare him to put Spencer Dinwiddie anywhere lower than C tier. I'll turn Spencer off the Jr. video. Not I literally Spencer will Jr. turn off the video. Is easier when you use goals. I will. And Esma Junior is the best goal point guard by so much by so much of a long of a distance that like it's not even funny. Yeah, um, but it doesn't matter. Nobody's using there. Dennis. And Smith also, Jr. most people run three goals at the end of their bench. And the fact that Dennis Smith Jr. is a gold that you can put on the floor and he's not going to make. But nobody's not, using a gold in any setting anyway. Like, if Dennis Smith Jr. touches the floor, he actually might do something. And that is the scary thing. Like, normally goals I get are... It, but normally when someone nobody, accidentally I mean, puts a goal on the floor, they start to panic. They're like, oh crap, let me sub him off. For me, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll just sub off. I accidentally put Dennis Smith Jr. on the floor. Just let me sub him off and, like, I don't really care when because he can still actually hold his own. Like, statistically-wise, Dennis Smith Jr. is not that bad for a gold, but then we have got still Jamal Murray. Gold. I'm putting Jamal Murray in C tier. Jamal Murray is not that good. In the game, I'm he's sorry four, I, I have it. him on my no money spent, but he is not that good. Fine. He's just not the that good. shooting is fine, but it's like... I, I have the tier. card. Like, no, he's not. You can maybe argue him B tier. No, he's not. I, would not, I do not think he's in that conversation for A tier. He's just... I don't know what it is about him. Like, I, I play against him. I never... I don't have him. I, I don't do. have him. But I play against just... him so many times. And I'm never worried. Again, I'm more worried when I see some dude running Kobe White than I am when I see someone running... Um, okay, I'm not worried Jamal about Murray. either of those guys. Because normally but... when I play against guys using Jamal Murray, they just got lucky in their promo packs. That's true. Probably playing some guys that aren't and like, very good. Maybe it's because... Most of the time when I play against Jamal Murray, it's against someone in TTO who's using Jamal Murray, their starter card, and somebody else. It's That's probably it. But Jamal Murray and, still is not that good. I just want to throw that I don't have enough there. experience using him because I don't have the card. But he does. he's never seemed like he's up to much any time I've come up against him. He's mid. So I get he's a diamond, mid. but and he's not even a bad diamond. But like if you're asking me who I'd rather use Jamal Murray or Slick Watts, offensively Jamal, but Slick Watts no, is Slick is better than Jamal team. Murray. It's not Period. close. So I got to give him some respect for that. So then we have got... We've Wait. got Goatmere. Oh Godson. Goodness. We got a long ways to go on Sorry, this list. Goatmere. You're going D2. You're not as good as Byron Nelson. I remember when DBG used to hype he's up Jameer Nelson. Like but bigger, well, since people, he's six foot tall. So since people have figured he's out how just to not it, I'm sorry. Tall point, the small point guards, he's going to be even worse. He's only He gets like a bunch of really good silver badges. But like his three ball is only like 75. Like it's in the seven. Jameer's badges sure. are fantastic. Oh no, it's not. Sorry, I'm thinking of Jerry Sloan with that. His there's something he is really bad at. Is it perimeter defense that? Like I genuinely think there is something that he is shocking at. I don't know, but overall his um, badges are fantastic. But he, he makes but up for he's, he's six I'm pretty sure it's perimeter I mean. defense. I'm pretty confident that it is perimeter defense with that one. Um, but 
Yeah, in general, he's um. And DBG he's gashed Jameer worthless. for a while, but James Silas. He's so bad. I mean, what is he doing on my court? He is actually I'm intrigued to see where he puts Diamond useless. Jason Terry, though. I'm intrigued for that. I'm sorry. The guy is genuinely useless. Like, why are we even talking about James Silas? Like, let's move on. He's terrible. And that's not even an exaggeration. He is horrendous. I think, he, what's he, 100 wins in TT offline? The uh, Derek Jones and, Jr. that you man, get before him is not wins. that bad. The Ruby Jet Terry can score. Move him Ruby, up to D tier. Ruby Jet can genuinely E tier genuinely is score. disrespectful to him. He's good. Jet is fine. If you get him in the draft mode, he is fine. And for that reason, like he's D tier. I'm sorry. We gotta, we gotta show him some respect. You're not showing we him respect. Show him some respect. You have him at E tier outside of. Um, he's not even close to being worthless. worthless here. He's and better you than get the guy in a uh, draft. You are sorted. That's what I'm saying. Jason Terry is better than Jameer, in, in my opinion. Absolutely, positively sorted. Now the other Problem Jason is, though, Terry. is that like the only mode he's good for his drafts. This Jason Jet Terry, Terry, a he is good. He's like downgrade, slightly downgraded Steph. He does get shifty. I don't even know if Steph's Steph. really like that. I really don't. He's Steph's well, so it's not much better than Steph. Steph's stuff. good, but he's like. I'm gonna be honest. It's barely better. How good is Steph? Barely I don't better really than know. Steph Curry dribble style. Jet's good, but, though. Um, yeah. He is definitely good. It's, I have him on my nobody spent, and I love him. got a really him. good release. Incredible release. And he is seen as, like, the budget Steph. And I'm not even talking about this, that this Terry. Just get the non mask Terry. And for all the mask cards I have here, just get the non mask version. The same card. Jose Calderon. He's okay. He got yeah, a good Jose's three ball. Tier. Jose can play offense. He cannot really play Like, he got a good three ball. I Jose grinded some XP with him, Drew, and he was fine. A. A is a good Drew spot Ali for Drew. Is no question about it. A tier. Really like good defender. He's a slightly lesser version of DeJounte. But he has a way better release than DeJounte. I just want to throw that in there. Because you're hyping DeJounte, you're so gassing me, him. I think so it's let's a give no Drew some credit. A His no release is better than DeJounte's. Him. Drew Holiday, A. Because I don't he's think he's S. Like, even no. though he shoots the ball better than DeJounte, he's only 6'3". He's not he better. Doesn't scat, but um, I'm just saying. doesn't dunk the ball nearly Can as well. Can we get to Spencer Dinwiddie, please? Kind of struggles, but... I'm excited for Spence. I would be tempted. I would actually be tempted to put him in S. No, let's just calm down and relax, okay? Because, like, if he went... If I put him in S tier... Okay, do let him... Isn't that gassing it? Yes. Or overly gassing it? You, well, you've gassed DeJounte. You set a bad precedence, but... Putting him in S. We'll see. I think he might be the best we have here. No, he's not better than Rose. I don't I'm know. I'm gonna put five... I think I'm gonna put five in S. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe Walt goes in S. But it's like, Drew's better than Walt. No, he's not. I don't know. Next S tier player is going to be Steph. And then we're going to wait till the end to decide. I mean, like, Steph is good, but like, a lot of people gas Steph. Like, player, objectively, like, Steph is good. Players. Like, we all know Steph is S tier. But a lot of people do gas Steph badly. That is just an obvious one. Like, am I good with Steph? Nope. I suck with him. I absolutely suck with Ste Steph. <sighs> Steph's good. I, I, just need to, I just need to accept But the if fact you put Steph good. into the hands of someone that can use Steph, is he the best point guard in the game? Pretty much, yeah. Mm. Like, well, I don't know. If Pete's probably his primary shooting guys guard. Guys that so are maybe. good with Steph. Maybe. maybe. Like the pro-arm guards, guys who know how to use the Curry hey, slide. I was I playing Blaine out today with Steph. This year. Like, I've been trying to use the Harden, the weird Harden shuffle animation. I barely know how to no, do Curry it. Curry is Whereas last tough. year, I mean, it wasn't necessarily Curry slide made because I didn't really have Steph Curry, but I used it quite a lot. But, um, yeah, so... Steph Curry, S, because again, the best shooter in my team. Don't mind it at all. And there is, no, uh, there is no question about that one. Got to pick your arguments and I'm not going to argue the with you about that The best shooter in my team. Kemba Walker. I mean, Kemba. No. Kemba scores. No way. He's, 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 he's probably one of the best dribblers. He's like our worst version of Dame. In terms of offense, and I think kinda, he's D tier. To use, but Kemba can still score. You can get a bucket with Kemba, but I think D tier is the right Lowry, spot. At Kyle this Lowry stage of the game, Kyle Lowry is just Jameer Nelson. He's just not so very Jameer good. Is slightly better. He's the only, only way to say it. I'm putting good. Kyrie in C tier. I think he's worse than Fred Brown. I also I don't mind it. I, I really don't I mind it. I do not Kyrie like Kyrie. Way, so. I will say Kyrie's cooked me more than about anybody in this game, though. Especially early on in my team. Kyrie has cooked me constantly. Wondering so, why I'm using Kyrie. Why I'm a... 
I don't know. There's two sides of it. Putting I'm Kyrie not good with Kyrie, low, and I've been fried by Kyrie. He's a liability. But I hate it. He can get ex- he gets exposed on defense. I love playing against Kyrie Irving at this stage, unless it's like I used to hate playing against him. Though. Comp- I use him. Or no, I love playing Kyrie. I used to hate playing against Harper. Him. So not Harper Dampier. Um, he's better than D's here. But Dampier's going to C tier as well. C tier is probably like, right. I thought stats when stats wise he came out, he was like a slightly worse CB tier. He sucks. I have him. He sucks. He's not quite Oscar that Robertson good. A. Oscar Robertson can... Okay. Oscar at A is, is where I'd have him. But don't disrespect Dinwiddie oh, Spen- when Dinwiddie comes. Niche player. Like, don't disrespect you, you Spencer. You have to use Oscar Robertson like Oscar Robertson is supposed to be used. Like, you've got to use him kind of like posting up in a slow down, methodical pace. Um, otherwise, you are not getting the best at him. But he is A tier. Pistol P. I'm putting Pistol P in A. The only thing is... Like, oh, Pistol come P- on, DBG. He is 6 foot 5. That is terrible. So... A pistol peak can't paint match people. And for that reason, um He is S. It's no I'm question. Put pistol Pete in this tier. That's bad. That's bad. But wow, otherwise. Bad. I, wow. I don't think he's uh He's anything great, to be honest. That's bad. He's got Ray Base, he's six. His five. release is good. Wow. He doesn't he can't get snipers. So that's one of the problems is that it's like if you don't he doesn't green, matter. green or miss it's, it's green or miss a pistol. This dude's beat. got a ninety some three ball. Oh so, yeah. That's, that's bad, DBG. Rondo. That's bad. I mean he's good enough on defense. Like he's not as good. Like he's bare he's worse than Slick Watts. Whoa. Wait a second. You're telling me right now that Rajan Rondo. With a 96 speed and a 95 lateral quickness and Hall of Fame ankle braces and tireless defender and can shoot the ball with a decent enough release. Quick dribble style is D tier. Who else is at D tier? Aaron Brooks. This is your comparison, DBG. This is your comparison, not mine. This is your comparison, not mine. That is terrible. Like, this is just terrible. Slick Watts. You said he Slick Watts is better, which I don't even mind Slick Watts. But how is he better than Rondo? I mean, I don't understand it. I don't get it. What does he do better than Rondo? He's a little better three ball, but that's literally it. I'm just confused, DBG. Can you help me understand why Rondo is D tier? That is terrible. I put him D tier. Ron Harper. That is terrible. D-tier. He's still a 6 And then you move Ron Harper to pick out the lockdown on defense. I mean, a lot of people like him at the start. And trust me, I liked him at the start as well. Rondo at D tier is DBG's worst take in mean, history. In history. He's not in spectacular. It's in history. It's anymore. not even close. Rondo at D tier is you're still is using his... him in November, then you probably should find a new point guard. Russell Westbrook. That's great. A? A? I know some people swear by this card, and I'm surprised by that. Like, Russ I'm is not bad. so many people Russ is, swear Russ by Russell Westbrook. Russ is honestly not bad. Because, um... Rush really is not bad. I think he's just like Derrick Rose. Hello, DG. But uh Like I, I don't think I think he's the worst D Rose. His jumper is easier to green, but it's slower. They're basically the he same. He dunks kind of well, but he's just fine. This Westbrook, a 60. I'm sorry. Y'all see who's coming up. The GOAT's For, coming up. Uh, Spencer did win. If you ask me who's better, this Westbrook or Kyrie, I'm taking Westbrook. Ten times out of ten. For me, but like Westbrook's not the very goats good. coming up. Here we go, like baby. Way worse version. Like Rose is so much better. Our Westbrook. other S tier point guard is coming up. It's not even funny how much better Ruby Rose is than Ruby Westbrook. But he's not awful either. Sleepy B. Like if he, I'm sorry if you locked in for Sleepy Floyd. I really am. Like he doesn't really do anything. He's not terrible. He's not good either. He really just is there. He's he's yeah, a point guard. Sleepy's not the best way to describe him. He is he's a point guard. The goat, the he goat. He's a six six point yep. guard. Play a bit Move him up. Set. Move him up, DBG. S tier. Screens. He if you use your point guard as your as a role guy, he's probably the best. He can't really play defense. He has an eighty nine speed, six six. On he can play defense. Cones, but the pro, the good thing is is that because he's six foot six, he can't get post spin. Well, he doesn't get postman that easy. Like what used to, what used to end up happening was, say when I was using Suggs, is I would use Suggs, and Suggs will guard because Suggs couldn't guard the other team's point guard. Suggs will guard the small forward, and ML would always guard the point guard. And the problem with that was, if people start posting, yeah, Suggs is barbecue chicken. Dinwiddie's not. 
whoever their small forward was, they started posting up. And now that I've got Dimwitty, I can't really do that as much. Okay. But at least he put some respect he's on the player. He's name. either unbelievable for your style player, he's useless. There's no in between. I'm, I'm glad he put him in A tier. Good stuff, DBG. That makes up for you putting. It still doesn't make. Rondo in D tier right. is Steph blasphemy. Curry. A. Is he that good? He's not as good as this Steph, but he gets mismatch expert. He gets quick chain. He can still curry slide. He's got like silver range. If you like, if you can't afford the pink diamond Steph and you really like Steph, just get the diamond Steph. They are, are there is a big difference. I guess like, I have Steph is the worst player in A tier right now. I guess but I, I mean, have If you really like Steph, this Steph's Steph, pretty but... good. Stefan Marbury. I doubt Marbury, he's A tier. A. He's like, for me, Stefan Marbury is like in between. He's not as good as the Rose. He's like a. He's very similar to Rose. He doesn't get the D Rose as uh, Not as good as Rose. So he doesn't get the D Rose burst, but he does shoot the ball way better and he gets all the same animation. Same. I can't wait until we get a good D Rose. Like a good, good jump D -Rose. shot. He's D Rose. Be really so fast tough. jumper. He's a better defender than D Rose as well. Marbury is going to go. Actually, no. If I've got D'Aaron and B, I'm going to put Marbury and B. Yeah, Marbury, D'Aaron, and this. I Darren think B's the right spot. I think I Steph should go down now. S at the start. He's not. He's not S tier. Steve Nash, B, Wolf Frazier, A. Okay. Steve Nash is kind of fine. He was good for his time, but I mean his time. People have tried using that Steve Nash as the best point guard in the game. Wolf Frazier, really what is good? Again, a really solid I shooter. I still think uh, Wolf is a really solid defender, better. not a very good shooter. Dunks the ball relatively well and just a really good I, I so really now, think Wolf is better than Dejounte. Come for the last S tier player. There's no question, DBG. You the know who it is. That are in the conversation. You know who it is, DBG. Pistol Pete Marovic. That's that's who it should be. It should be Pistol Pete. But Jet Terry. Where's Spencer Dinwiddie? Drew. Spencer Dinwiddie. I think that's it. I can see the Pistol Pete, Jet, it's and Drew Holiday. It's Pistol Pete, though. Gotta be, right? So, Drew, best defensive player. Jet, worst defensive player. Pete in the middle. Offensively. Pete, Pete flipped. Move Pete up. Pistol Pete can mash. And Pistol Pete's 6 5. Pistol Pete's the best. It's not even close. I think I'm going to have to put Pistol Pete. I think Pistol Pete's going to take the last A tier, S tier spot. It's not even close. But I mean, I'm very, very high on Drew. If was, DeJounte Murray at S tier is crazy. To Drew. DeJounte yeah, Murray at S tier is crazy. Be there to me. Because, like, that's crazy. Of Drew, DeJounte, and Gary Payton, I can't put basically three of the exact same player in S tier and Drew being the third best. Like, if you want defensive point guys, Drew doesn't make your lineup. If you want, like, a tall player and you want Ray Allen base, Pete does. So, yeah. These are probably the five guys you're going to be seeing run most often. If someone rim runs, maybe they want Rose. But other than Overall, that, this doesn't look that bad. Dennis Smith Jr. is blasting me. These five. So, yeah. That but is the much worst part about this is the fact that I see Rajon Rondo in, e in D tier. That is DBG's worst opinion ever. And I don't even think it is respectable. That is terrible. He is about four tiers off on Rondo. And I'm very upset. That's going to wrap it up for my video today. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. You shout to DVG. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.